if we can't give to our children and grandchildren a better world, then what the f*** have we done with our lives? If you actually look at the market, there's only five or six really solid coins. And 90% of the coins on the market are going to die. And those six or eight coins are going to go to $100 billion. 12, 13 months ago, I embarked on this mission. And one by one, I started persuading people who had no clue who I was in blockchain to trust me with their pennies and either take a stand, sponsor the show, or dedicate some of their time to grace the stage to speak at my show. And today, I was blessed to have 8,500 people gracing the show for the first time. The Future Is Now presents Together with Skycoin Malta Blockchain Summit 2018 Are you here today to learn how to make more money within the system that we are trying to escape? Or are you here to learn how you can be free as individuals? Blockchain Island has become one of the more friendly habitats for crypto in 2018. Leading the way in official government blockchain legislature, welcoming all explorers of the future to the Maltese coast. With its rich history from the Knights of Templar to the Holy Grail, this island always had something magical about it. It is this magic that was captured by Iman Poulos and formulated into one of the leading blockchain gatherings from the get-go with over 8,500 attendees flocking to Malta. In this film, we get ready for a new year ahead of us as we seek to understand how can we build a better future for the industry of blockchain as we catch up with old friends and top brass from the industry. Miko Matsumura of Evercoin Exchange. We really want to make sure that there are primary use cases and primary value creation before we get any kind of speculative increase. Whether the speculation is coming from like a financial institution, a government, or whether it's coming from like ICO, like it really doesn't matter as long as we actually have a primary economic activity at the base. John McAfee of McAfee Crypto Team. We are using the blockchain to make money rather than to make products, aren't we? Don't people invest going, is this coin going to go up? I get it all the time. Mr. Murphy, what predictions do you have for this? I go, F predictions, dude. You're using this wrong. I got no problem with making money. We should make money. But that cannot be the sole purpose, else we're killing the goose that lays the gold and egg. Brandon Synth of Skycoin. Ten years in the industry, a company that is affecting change while creating a use case in countries where the need is real. The most important thing is that it's grassroots, it's bottom up. We don't have to go to the president. We don't have to go to the central government. We don't have to get permission. We just, it's a local, it's grassroots at the community level, at the people on the ground, being, giving them a tool that they can now use to improve their lives. Foo Styles of Women in Blockchain. This has been one of the most diverse uh, blockchain conferences I've been to ever. The quality of people were so great. Um, I met amazing women here, like really great women who are doing really great things that I'm collaborating with um, from all over the world. Simone Giacomelli of Singularity Net. What we're trying to do here is to uh, increase the odds of democratizing AI. Nothing scales as fast as adoption. So that's why we're pleased to be here in Malta and discussing with the government how do we work together in really bringing this uh, open future uh, and making it a reality. Jackie Hart of Zero Point, a new way to network. I felt so graciously welcomed from the moment I landed. I mean, everything was just waiting for us. The entire summit was explicitly designed, logistically perfect. 
Mark Hamadi of Vivaris Capital. Long-term investors hold, hold, hold. So if it goes down, it goes down. But if it's a legitimate business and it solves a pain that you have, it's going to always last. And Iman Poulos, the founder of the Malta Blockchain Summit. Today was a special occasion, these past few days. I mean, it was the anniversary, the 10th anniversary of Satoshi Nakamoto, 10 yes. years. So we couldn't have timed it better then. And it was also the launch of the VFA Act, the bill that has regulated the blockchain space in Malta. So the buzz is real, this is no hype. As the so-called crypto nuclear winter crawled up on the Bitcoin world in late November, Malta nevertheless showed the true power of blockchain community and how much potential the crypto world truly has. Don't miss the amazing Malta Blockchain Awards with Prime Minister of Malta, Joseph Muscat. Brandon Synth and John McAfee center stage during the panels. Futurama Blockchain Innovators After Party with a surprise appearance by Mike Butcher of TechCrunch. And of course, the Zero Point with Jackie Hart at the historical presidential Verdala Palace that hosted European kings and queens since 1586. This was a gathering that will forever go down in crypto world's history. A light at the end of the tunnel. A new hope for a different tomorrow in a jurisdiction that can change it all. A way in for innovators of the future and a lesson for the stories of the past. This is the episode we've all been waiting for. Malta Blockchain Summit 2018. Created by One Day Productions.